AF TV. That's true. That's true. My, my cameraman just said that. No moonwalking today. No Millie Rock. Up to the Millie Rock today. No dabbing. No nothing. Well, what's it? No dancing today. They hardly see no dancing today from the Man United players. You, you're not going to Millie Rock for us now? I ain't Millie Rocking. No, 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 no. No, I am not I ain't Millie Rocking. <laughs> well, listen. Fantastic performance today. Look, I mean, when the team came out, it was it was one of those it was one of those sides which I think everyone got a bit puzzled because we haven't seen Ramsey and Ozil together for a while. It was a, it was a very attacking formation, and to be honest, the way we've been defending on the majority of the season, I did think to myself, well, are we going to have enough at the back to to contain people like Lukaku for his pace, and obviously Rashford, and then Martial when he came on? But I thought we did a very sound job. I thought we actually were one of our best defensive uh, performance season. I thought players like Maitland Niles, who obviously is not a right back, he is a central midfielder, he really stood up today, and. I thought he was exceptional. I thought every single player on the pitch was well, able... Is, you know yeah. what, we, sorry to cut you, I mean, with the Maitland-Niles thing, I argue a lot with the lads and I say, listen, even though, yes, in the, in the youth team or whatever, you've played as a central midfielder, you've got a chance now to make right back your position. Because lots and lots of players play in different positions when they're coming up in the under 23s and that. But when you get a chance to get into the first team, Right? That's not, not a lot of players get a chance to get into the first team and play a lot of games. And he has. Make that your position. And if he puts in performances like what he did today, he can make that his position. He can push Bellerin all the way if he performs like that. I mean, to be fair as well, one thing that's, that's valuable with football right now is having a player that's very versatile and can play in a variety of roles. And correct me if I'm wrong, because this might be, but I think Dallow at United is a bit like that. He can play on yeah. the wing, he can play at defence. And that sort of play is pivotal, especially for a squad player, because one place we've struggled this season is we've had so our starting eleven when fully fit is a strong one. But obviously injuries have cost us and made us dip in form and whatnot. People like Holding and Bellerin for long-term injuries. But having those squad players mean that you have more resilience in your side. And that's one thing which I do think we do need to build upon. But players like Melian Niles, by giving them that consistent game run and getting him to learn how to play compared to where he was last season, playing more of a bit part, is essential for his growth as well. So yes, become a potential. So he to means in the future he can fill in maybe a, a right wing back or right back or obviously centre mid, centre mid, centre midfield. And it gives that gives us more option basically, which is something so pivotal in football at the moment. But one thing I want to say and make a point of saying is I thought the referee today and the linesmen were absolutely atrocious. And I know we've won the game and you shouldn't complain and moan about the ref, but I think it's a real disgrace what, what, what the standard refereeing in this league. And it what we'll show in the beginning. A penalty? No, I ain't seen it back. Was it a penalty? I got to be honest, I, I, I don't think it was. But little things like the lines, but there were so many decisions which, which should have been given, which weren't. Like for example, in the first, I think it was the first minute, the Lino gave United a, a throw in when it was just most. It came off of their player's boot, and the fourth official had to flag the ref and was like, actually no, that's off. That it's the other way, and it just shows that the, the quality of the game and in football in general at the moment is so good, but you need to tighten that up. And even with VAR, watching how United got that penalty the other day, which was weak, it just shows that VAR is not the answer and that you need to have that quality refereeing up. But back on to the performance, which obviously is the most important thing for today. We shouldn't get our hopes up and say, we're going to get top four, we're going to do this. Because as you know, especially with Arsenal, but in football in general, one thing that United, I think, fell, suffered with today is when you give it all that and you give it lip and you're cocky in the week before, it normally backfires. And I think it's fair to say, rather than going on, we're going to go at top four, we've got, still got some hard games. Yes, we may not have the big six, but look at Wolves. They went 1-0 up away at um, Chelsea today. They've got a lot, there was Chelsea got like a late goal, but that'll be a difficult away game. Everton away, notoriously, by last season, is a hard away ground for us to go to. Yes, it's in our control more than it was before, but what people what need people to remember is Chelsea, they've got a game in hand that puts them straight in the top What's four. What's your top four? Well. Give me your top four right now. In no particular order. In the order. Give me your top four. <laughs> I don't like that. In no particular in order, order, top four. Liverpool, on the spot pressure. Liverpool City. Yeah. And, then I, and then us United, third and fourth, in no order. 